Okay, today we're talking college baseball recruiting tips. How do you know if you're being recruited? It's a question I receive a ton. I have so many emails from players and parents that email me and say, you know, is, is this real? Is this true? Is my son really being recruited? Does this email seem legit? Does this phone call? Is this text? Like, what does this all mean? And so I'm going to give you all the tips today and a little bit of insight into um, how you know you're actually being recruited. Uh, real quick, obviously, I deal with a ton of players, uh, helping them, our eight long baseball players, end up moving on and playing college baseball. I also recruited at Holy Cross, and so I made a lot of phone calls and sent a lot of text messages and sent a lot of emails and communicated with, with players and their families, families a lot. And I'm going to tell you exactly how I did it so I know it from both ways, from doing the recruiting and then from helping our players get recruited. So let's start with this. How do you know? What's the easiest way to tell that you're being recruited? I think the top two ways, the number one way is a phone call. If you receive a phone call and get on the phone with a coach, I did not say you call them, okay? But they call you. If they call you and talk to you on the phone, you're being recruited. Now, keep in mind that there's certain rules depending on which division you're playing at whether or being recruited to whether it's one two three or juco or naia there's all these different rules okay so let's just let's just start with division one for a minute now there there are certain times when they cannot contact you but once you become a junior in high school and, and uh going forward they're allowed to contact you okay so let's say that you are in that boat and you receive a phone call so you pick up the phone one day and it's Florida State, okay? I don't know why I use Florida State all the time. I usually use Vanderbilt, but let's say it's Florida State, okay? You get on the phone with Florida State, you're being recruited. There's no chance. I've never seen a college coach spend time, take time out of their day to pick up a phone and call a player and tell them they're being recruited and have it not be true, okay? And so that's the number one way to know that you're being recruited recruited. Now, if you are younger than a junior, let's say you're a sophomore, you're a freshman, or hell, today sometimes it's getting real crazy. Florida State might be calling eighth graders, okay? Now, they can't directly call you, right? So they can't pick up the phone and dial your number and call you. But what they'll do is they'll call your high school coach or your travel ball coach. So what happens is I get a call a lot um, from a college coach. So FSU might call me and say, hey, Matt, can you tell Brian to give me a call tonight at eight o'clock and I'll say sure thing and then I've got to call Brian and say Brian can you call uh, Florida State tonight at eight o'clock and so that's how that that's how they get around the rules okay but regardless either they're calling you because they're allowed or they're trying to get somebody to tell you to call them before your junior year okay so a phone call is 100% without a doubt means you're getting recruited. Now, keep this in mind also. Just because you're getting recruited doesn't mean that you're going to receive a, an offer or either a roster offer or a, a scholarship offer, okay? So it is important to keep this in mind. You can be recruited so coaches can be talking to you. It doesn't always mean they're going to finally give you an offer. I've seen this happen a good amount of times. Players talk to a coach on the phone and then they assume that they're getting an offer. And then... Down the line, all of a sudden, they don't get one, and they're really, really confused. You have to think about this. A college coach isn't going to just call you and just put all his eggs in, your, in that one basket because he knows that you're probably, if, if Florida State's calling you, guess what? A lot of other schools are probably calling you too. Probably a lot of other ACC schools and SEC schools and all kinds of schools are calling you. And so he has to be recruiting a bunch of players at the same time because he knows he's going to lose out on certain players, right? And so... Just make sure of that. Does it mean that they're very interested in you and they're trying to recruit you? Yes. It doesn't technically mean they're going to give you an offer, okay? But if you're on the phone with them, you know there is le legit interest, okay? I would say the same thing with text messages. Uh, some coaches like to text message more than call, but calling is the number one way. Text messaging is probably the second way, all right? So if you're receiving text messages from coaches, then you're definitely, they definitely have interest and they're recruiting you. Right? And typically, a text message is going to soon be followed up by a phone call. So you can kind of put those in the same basket, okay? Now, let's go a step below that. 
emails. Emails can be tricky. This is what I'll say. Emails are typically the way that college coaches, one, promote their camps. So we've talked in the past about how coaches want to get players to get to their camps, either to recruit them, to see them play and to possibly recruit them, or to help fund the program, okay? So you have to be careful with emails. Now, there were plenty of players that I emailed back in the day when I was coaching in college and invited them to our camps or even communicated with them via email, letting them know that I had recently seen them play and that I'd like to see them play again and that you know I'd like to see their, could they send me their schedule? Can they let me know when they're pitching again or when they're playing again, right? And I could definitely be recruiting them, right? So this is where it becomes tricky. It, it is possible that you're being recruited, but it is also possible that they just want you to come to their camp, right? It could be a, a bla just a blast email out to a thousand kids, right? And I see these all the time where it'll say, it'll even say, hi, Johnny, comma. And you're like, my name's Johnny. Coach called me by my name. He must be recruiting me. We just saw you play at a recent event and we'd love to see you more. Please come down or please check out our camp which we'll be having on July 22nd on our campus. And these are the schools that will be there. And this is what we're going to do. And we'd love to see you play. And we hope to see you there. Thank you. Right. And so players get confused. First off, do know that they're able to get a database of players. They go to a tournament. They're able to get a ton of players in this database. Right. So they get it from, you know, whatever, perfect game or wherever. They plug all those names in and then they can blast out emails. And when they type in the email that they want, they blast it out to a thousand players, it's going to say, hi, Johnny to Johnny, and hi, Michael to Michael, and hi, Billy to Billy, and hi, Bobby to Bobby, right? And so just because it says your name doesn't mean that they actually know who you are. Sometimes it does, okay? Um, but I would say a lot of times it doesn't. And so again, keep that in mind, is that emails can be tricky, Okay, so always go with phone calls and text messages are the most important. Those are the biggest ways the, that you know you're being recruited. And emails are usually not so much. It could be, it probably isn't. I would respond back to the email if you're interested, respond back and see if you get a reply again. Um, that goes maybe a little bit more in depth. Also, just be careful, and, and this is a way that you can kind of know, is it just inviting you to camp, right? Is that all it's doing? Or is it asking you to send the schedule so they can come watch you again, right? So those are two different things. If the coach says, hey, send me your schedule. I really want to get out and watch you play. And then you send the schedule, and they say, thank you so much. Looking forward to seeing you at this tournament in New Jersey. That's a little bit different than, hey, come to our camps, you know, we'd love to have you at our camp and watch you play because we've identified you as a potential prospect for our school, right? So you kind of got to kind of look through there and try to figure that out. Um, so hopefully that makes sense to you, okay? So just keep in mind phone calls, text messages, most important, emails are below that. But also remember that it depends on how old you are, what grade you're in, what division is talking to you, right? There's a lot of rules of when and how they can communicate with you. Again, for Division One, it's your junior year and, and up, so junior, senior year. If it's before then, right, if you're looking at if D1 schools are talking to you before then, they've either got to call, have you call them, I explained that process, or they can just send you camp info. But my thing is, they're not just, if they really want you, they're not just going to send you camp info, right? They're going to figure out a way to get you on the phone and text you. And so that's, again, how you know. So hopefully that makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff. We'll talk to you later. If you've got hitters that you're looking to improve before the start of next season, this is essential for you. Matt Antonelli here, former major league player, first round pick, and college coach. With this course, we're gonna show you exactly, step by step, how to generate power, develop bat speed, and enhance swing mechanics. Regardless of your hitter's age, this course is going to deliver advanced hitting techniques that will allow any hitter to get better and make an impact at the plate this spring. We have a full catalog of training content that you can access from anywhere at any time. This course is perfect for players, parents, coaches, instructors, and more. It offers a comprehensive package of drills and techniques that you can directly implement. Our course has helped hitters all over the country at different competition levels, and the feedback that we've received has been outstanding. The work you put in now will drive your success at the plate this spring. 
get the essential knowledge that you need to take your game to the next level.